Welcome to the first Hacker Replay of the season. I want to start off by saying generally, for most seasons, I have a very hard time getting all my Hacker Replay files before the first Hacker Replay. Season comes out like on a Tuesday, I need to do a Hacker Replay Sunday. Normally I have to push it back because we don't have enough submissions. This season, just like the first five days, I have already had over, I think it was a hundred submissions from the community. That is not the norm. So apparently there's a lot of cheating going on this season. But that being said, me and my friends who are playing in Diamond MMR have only faced one cheater in 19 matches. I feel like there might be a chance a decent amount of these are not actually cheaters. But either way, thank you to everyone for submitting so many matches because it's nice to actually be able to, you know, have enough for a video. We're going to start with Theme Park. Okay, in this match we have Freddy Gibb 23 who's accusing Cam uh, is an ape. Is our first accused cheater of today. This is a eight round match, by the way. I've seen no cheaters so far because I'm too shit to tell who's cheating and who's good. I do think that's a, a decent chunk of the community that probably doesn't like to acknowledge that they're too bad to know. But there is uh, there's always a lot of cheaters. Uh, it just seems odd that this season we've seen so few because normally we face cheaters like every other match. Oh yeah, I don't know how to describe this. So there's a new bug this season with match replay where, listen to the audio. It sounds like there's barely any audio. The hacker replays are, are going to be a little quiet until they fix that. So Ace is, or not Ace, Ash is definitely cheating. And they suck. But Ash is definitely walling. She was just staring at them through the walls. Uh, but going back to what I was saying, so the audio is weird. It's like, the best way I can describe it is with someone or as someone who has a stereo headset, it sounds like the audio, if I'm standing here and I'm trying to place where the audio is around me, in the match replay, all of the audio is right here and only here, but far away and quiet. So like, I don't hear like surround sound really, or you know, fake surround sound, I just hear like only audio in front of me and it's quiet. But that is a new match replay bug, I guess. Been in all my match replays so far. Alright, so that was AFK for 20 seconds, and now we will probably see them actually do something, because last time they were tracking people, but they just, they sucked, they died. What are they doing? I'm getting the feeling that they're like trying to make it look like they're not cheating, but they just look stupid because they're not really doing anything on creep. I'm waiting for him to pop off here. Actually, he'll probably end up getting killed by the roamer. Oh no, roamer's over there. He's good, he's good. The fuck is bro swinging at nothing? I don't know. Again, I feel like he's trying to make it look like he's not cheating by just doing random shit, but it just makes him look stupid. We'll see. I mean, we know he's walling. I just need more, like, evidence. Because he was literally staring at people through walls. I don't, I don't understand what he's trying to do. Oh, we're seeing a lot of bands. Oh my god, the bands are bugged the fuck out. What? Keep in mind, this dude is walling. Like, he is blatantly walling, or at least from the first round, he was blatantly walling. 
What the fuck is he doing? I could see him trying to like, like I said before, fake it, make it look like he's not cheating so that when he does cheat, they'll be like, how could this guy be cheating? He was so ass. Although for me, all that, that just makes me be like, oh, this guy toggled. Well, I, don't know. I don't know what's going through his mind. He is run running the goaded setup though. LMGE on Zofia. But no 1.5 or what's called 2.5 magnified scope. What I'm curious about is so in the first round, we saw him like tracking people, but then he died. So why has he basically stopped tracking people? Like, why is he not just blatantly tracking people anymore? What does he stand to gain from... ...being garbage? I don't know. Uh, maybe... maybe... let's we'll skip to round 6. We'll see. He only has one kill in the first five rounds. He must... he must go fucking crazy here. He, he left, by the way. He left the game and joined back. So maybe round one, he only had, like, his light walls or something, and then now he left and rejoined, and he's gonna have his fucking, like, aimbot or something. Frostmats are so awful. They obviously don't serve a purpose. The whole point of them is just... Oh, he's just, he just stared at them for spawn. I don't know if you guys noticed, he like looked back and forth and looked at them. Well, guys, if he wasn't obvious before, he is obvious now. So he full toggled. Because he was shitting the bed. Bro, even with walls. He is struggling to get a kill. Like he is straight up just tracking that buck through the wall and he can't kill him. He hit one shot. Now he's tracking the guys on cash belk. Oh, he... Bro, he's so bad. He's about to get undone by blitz. Bro, he is so bad. Chat, no matter how bad you guys feel at any given point in Siege, just remember that someone went out of their way to download cheats, like walls, everything, and they are still worse than you. But keep in mind, they're worse than you because you have the Varsity Gaming Charm. They only have cheats. So they're not even close to the same level as you. Now, if you don't have the Varsity Gaming Charm yet, you can get it just by subbing my Twitch channel. It's free with Twitch Prime, or you can use $5. All right, let's go to round eight, see what happened. Hold on, so they actually ended up winning blue team. How did they... Because if I was orange team, I would not have guessed that this guy is cheating. Personally. Because, like, he is three and six, struggling to get a single kill. He must do something... Like, absolutely insane in this round to make someone be suspicious of him. Or his stats must be crazy. We'll look up his stats after. Because, like, if you saw someone like this and they had, like, a 5.0 KD, you'd probably be like, what the fuck are they doing? Bro, what are these kind of game traps? He not bro. He has cheats. He can see them all outside there. He could jump out and kill four of them because they were all on drones, all on the same side of the map. But he doesn't even recognize what he's looking at. How demoralizing it must be to shit up, or to cheat and still get shit on. Yeah, I I feel like actually, honestly, think about it. If you're a cheater who has like walls like this and you're tracking people and you lose, like the whole point 
of them cheating is they're going to blame them being bad on literally anything else other than them. Like, oh, they lost because the enemy team was cheating. Oh, they lost because, you know, prob someone probably had walls. I don't know. Like, they're always going to blame it on someone else. So if they lose with cheats, they're probably blaming it on something else as well. Or if they get shit on, they're like, oh, this guy's probably also cheating. He lost that. That is insane. The worst part is that they actually managed to win the game, the cheater does, even though he is awful. He went 5-7. and seven. So the reason this match was submitted, he said that they were a long-time cheater. Um, I don't know if I'd agree with that. They're, they are level 85, and they've only played for three seasons, so I wouldn't really say long-time cheater. They definitely started cheating this season. As you can tell, they were 0 0.9, 0 0.7, and then 2.2. I guess they were upset that they were performing poorly while probably in like gold, silver, MMR. Although I don't know how they made it to plat if they're that bad. Is that how bad plat is nowadays? So yeah, they said they were a long time cheater. This is not long time, this is one season. They just started cheating this season. And they are terrible. I, I'm almost tempted to say just let them keep their cheats because even with cheats, they are still a detriment to their team. That's how bad they are. Alright, we're moving on to match number two. First match was a cheater. Match number two has Red is Fake, who is accusing Good Beret 701968. I remember the reason why I chose this one. This is apparently a, a person who starts cheating because they get so butt hurt when they die to a spawn peak. Allegedly, they. I don't know if they leave or if they just toggle on. They didn't leave. But they died to a spawn peak. And then now in this round, we will probably see significantly stronger evidence of cheating. Oh, they are definitely toggling on. This is why they're AFK and like moving bot-like. So they just toggled on. I think they're still toggling stuff on. What are they doing? The time is ticking on the match. Like, it is going pretty far. So I'm, I'm gonna guess that in this round, when he tabs back in, he's gonna just, like, mow down the entire enemy team in two seconds. Why is he pretending to check stuff? Don't waste our time. Okay, terrible aim. Oh, he has aimbot. He wasn't even aiming at that guy and he got a headshot. He definitely has walls. We saw him just stare at the kite through the castle. And then he knew where the dock was before the dock even shot. I just want to see what cheats he has, because he for sure has walls. I think he might have some type of aimbot. He just ran past the spawn peak again, bro. If you have walls, and you're not noticing a spawn peak, what is wrong with you? Yeah, he definitely has walls. Misclick, misclick, guys. Another misclick. You ever get into a match and you're just like so nervous that you might die at any given moment, so you just like randomly left click out of fear? That's what this guy's doing. Crazy game sense. Good reaction time, obviously. Okay, I don't think we need to watch anymore. He's obviously cheating. We can go to the 
final round and see who actually ends up winning. I assume the cheater. Yep, the cheater wins. We do not have their real name, but a little sad on their part that they lost to a spawn peak, and so they immediately toggled on with the like most expensive cheats they could find. Next match we'll be watching is one of the chalet ones. I didn't even notice we had three chalet ones. Fuck. I think it's this one. No, it's this one. Does he have a chair? No, I'm too poor to afford a chair. That's why I rely on donations from chat. So I can buy a chair one day. In this match, we have Noverix, the Legion, who is accusing Asga. Asgo? Okay, one sec. I, I went into the round and he was immediately dead, so... Rewind a bit here. Cat. He died to the spawn peak. What are the odds that he also toggles on because he died to a spawn peak chat? I feel like a lot of people are very sensitive about their capabilities in Siege this season. Okay, he actually checked the window. And he's waiting. And even though no one's there, that's good. He could he could maybe not be cheating. We could have our first legit player of the hacker replay. I say that and then this guy's gonna like wall bang someone. He's droning? Guys. There's a good chance he's not cheating. His aim is wonky and bad, but... At the very least, it doesn't look like he's aware. Oh, bad aim, but... Not cheating? Unless he toggles on. He always could. Good shot, good shot. First kill of the game, not suspicious. Hold on. Skipping away from that <coughs> hacker replay for a second. What is this strategy? <coughs> oh, I'm losing my voice. The Cav barricaded themselves in this tiny little closet. What is the goal here? And Ash isn't seeming to notice. Any attacker should look at that and be like, oh, someone's in there because the barricade is from the inside. I'm waiting for the Cav to interrogate this Ash because Ash is just running right next to her. Oh, but Cav, I ain't leaving yet. Oh, he looked away. So far, chat, I know it's early. We're only in round three. I, I don't think Ash is cheating. Personally. I don't really understand why they were accused. I assume maybe they'll do a lot better later on, but... That all looked fine to me. <clears throat> oh my god, I'm really losing my voice. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think they're cheating. They got a 4k after two's donuts of rounds, but like... Everyone's done that. They also have a champ background. Maybe they finally just... They dialed in. Let me go for a spawn kill here. They almost looked away as soon as the thermite was peeking. I think that was fine. Wait, what? What was that setup? Ooh. He's not cheating. He's got good skins. True. No one. With good skins has ever cheated before. Oh. 
sees them. He lost it. This is only a six round match, so we only have two more rounds to watch, but yeah, I don't think they're cheating. Personally. I also think he has very new teammates and probably very new enemies, like some of them. Like that Cav who locked themselves in a room. This Mute and Mozzie seem to be new as well because they're just hiding on site and like terrified. The only like suspicious thing I could even say I've seen so far is that I am surprised that he had a champ background based off of his aim. Because like the one round where he was like walking down West Main, his aim was not good. Like he wasn't aiming at anything specific or even like helpful. He was just swaying around. But it's also standard and it was his second round so... Let me guess. Callie's still outside. Oh. I was going to say on gazebo, but he was repelling in. Oh, they didn't even reinforce default walls. Alright. He lost it. That was normal. At least so far for me, this has not been suspicious at all. That was fine. He actually almost missed him on the cam. He like swung the cam way too far to the right. Why are 2.0 champs fake? I just started playing. Basically, in the old system of ranked, you actually had to like grind to get to champ, and then now the system just determines what your rank is, and then it'll give you high elo until you get there. Which is why a lot of people don't like it, including myself, because it's not about actually, like, grinding your way to get it. It's just about getting there, or, like, playing enough that the system just gives it to you. So getting champ is basically a participation trophy now. And the way you can tell how much easier it is to get is that the number of champs went up, like, 100 times in the first season, and it's still significantly higher than it used to be. Oh yeah, this guy's like basically lining up through the wall, but he's doing what any normal good player will do, which is see where they are, try to line it up through the wall as best as you can, and then pre-fire when you peek. And that was fine. They're getting live pings on blue stairs. Frost about to eat up here with a 45 damaging gun. Just kidding. I think that was fine. It's not totally a participation trophy, I think it's just the new diamond, but it is. The issue with the participation trophy aspect is that, for me, the game for some reason thinks I am a champ player. So as long as I play enough matches, I will get champ. It's not an actual matter of being good enough, it's about like making the system think that you're good enough and you just get it. Which is like the definition of a participation trophy is just like showing up and you get it. As long as I show up and play ranked, I get champ. Is that a good system? God, no. He was AFK for a second, just got to quickly toggle the cheats because they're down 2-3. But they actually lose the match, like the accused cheater loses, so I don't think they're cheating. This is a very annoying audio bug. There we go. Yeah, no, he's not cheating. I don't think there's any way he is. This is his account. Long time having the same name. He's had as go for five years used to play a lot way back in the day platinum 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 for so long comes back gets champ which by the way again showcasing how champ is just a participation trophy he was the 8,000th champ if i'm not mistaken before rank 2.0 they had on average 1,000 champs so 8,000 a lot more 
and uh, someone who left the game for years can come back and get it. Again, I don't think he was cheating. He looked like he was fine. Okay. That match is done. Next match. We just run it back with another chalet. Nah, we need a break in between. We're going to Skyscraper. In this match, we have Luffy, who is accusing you 137 You. This is an eight round ranked match where, oh, never mind, where the accusing team banned Blitz. This guy was in the last match, you. I mean, it is a streamer mode name. He's ready for the spawn peak. Does he adjust aim? God, no, he missed everything except for one bullet and then died. Okay. He might not be cheating, but it, this could be just like the one match. He dies, he activates his cheats. Huh? Huh? Oh, he is cheating. Guys, I think he might have been upset that he died when trying to spawn peak, so he toggled. Or he was already cheating, and he just sucks. This is his opportunity to run up to the window and pre-fire this person. Oh. Good shots, good shots. This is what I love about watching some cheaters. They tunnel vision so hard. Like, they just do not have the capability of looking around themselves. They're just like, this is the person I'm looking at, and I will only pay attention to them. They're like, everyone's one buddy that, as soon as they get a girlfriend, they stop talking to you. Because they can only pay attention to one thing at a time. So, guys, he is cheating. Uh, we do not have their full name, unfortunately, so I cannot look up their stats or anything, but they are, in fact, cheating. Actually, they're not cheating. They put down utility. Would a cheater really put down utility? God, no. Um, I'm kind of curious how it goes to eight rounds. I guess we'll go look to see who actually ends up winning. I assume the cheater. The cheater lost in overtime. That'd be pretty sad. Struggling to get the ace. Alright, last round. Cheater wins. They did get team killed from the looks of it, so that's probably why they went to overtime. Okay. Back out. Let me see, are they tracking match history yet in the new season? No, they're not. Oh wait, they are. Let me see if I can find them. Let me do my detective work. I guess I'll have to go one by one. Mute.gg with the champ background. Must have R6 tracker. Doesn't? Okay. No R6 tracker. Match history, oh. Uh, Chappie was on the losing team. And this match was... Three days ago. This already got some rollback, so they might have actually. Oh, I think it's that match. It is, isn't it? Do they finish eight and six? If so, the match is there. They just didn't have uh, the R6 tracker open. Oh wait, I'm dumb. He's on the winning team. He went seven and six. Oh, is it? Is it this one? It is this one. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, what? So it shows everyone's real names. It doesn't show the R6 tracker names. Okay, so who would it be? 
Would it be cock slobber, uh, noble convert, or blood, blood lang? Hmm. I'm having a hard time deciding, but I think it might be the guy with the 4.6 KD, guys. He had a 4.92 KD last season and a 2.67 KD so far this season. Uh, yeah, I'm going to guess he's cheating. I think all we got left is the last two ranked Charlotte matches. Watch them. In this match, we have Frank, Frank, L how do I pronounce that? Frank Lardaren, who is accusing Jinzo. Jinzo.exm hyphen A. Four kitty isn't too hard against new players. I love when people still don't understand how the new rank system works. They see copper and they're like, oh, everyone in that game is like a copper player. It's like, no, that's not how the rank system works. We're like two years into the new rank system and people still don't know. It's, it is Ubisoft's fault. Ubisoft did a terrible job explaining the new rank system, but people still don't know. So, have you guys noticed the timer at the top? What is going on? I assume it's because I rewinded, it, because it's about five seconds apart. I think I rewinded and it fucked up the timer because now it's just jumping back and forth. Oh wait, I just realized the guy who's accused of cheating is Deimos. Let's find out if people use Deimos as a way to hide cheats. Or if they think he's cheating because he's Deimos. Could be either or. Who's he tracking? Jaeger. I feel like he aimed there before Jaeger got pinged, but hard to say. And now we got the lesion bug. Actually, I think if I rewind, it fixes it. It did not fix it, chat. He is clearing corners and face checking, which is good. He also hasn't realized the flank, which is lesion. Makes me feel like he's not cheating. Almost just shot Thermite in the back of the head. Honestly, the other Thermite survive running straight in. guy doing? He almost seems lost. Yikes. He like lined up the one guy, but I couldn't tell if that's because of the Deimos track or if he did it right before or not. Okay, he's not going Deimos anymore, so if he was trying to use Deimos to cover up any cheats, then uh, not doing it this round. Droning. I'll check the file after this round because I'm now remembering I think this was also another accusation of toggling later on so once we finish this round we can see you know we have a basis of how he acts and performs if we go watch the rounds where they say that he was cheating because he toggled and then all of a sudden he plays very different then We'd have our evidence. He doesn't realize that there's someone on balcony right next to him. He does. This guy's very slow and patient. 
which makes me feel like he's not cheating. But it also makes it boring to watch this, because nothing's happening. Guys, there's a chance that he might have been so embarrassed by his performance there, he toggled on. We'll see. I'll, I'll go look at the file. I don't know what they were specifically accusing him of. Um, They said in round five and after, they felt like he toggled on. So we, we know how he acts now. Let's see how he acts in round five. He starts looking at people, probably cheating. They are down three to one. So if there was ever a time to toggle to try to win, now would be it. cheater, I would probably be suspicious of the guy proning right there. Instead, he loses 99% of his health. So. I'm, I'm not seeing walls if he did toggle. Guys, the aim's not great. I'm not gonna lie to you. Aim could be better. Wait, here's a dock. Oh, is he that's who he's running to? The dock, yeah. Oh, he doesn't have a mic, or at least he's not communicating via mic, because instead of saying something he shot at the dock. This console. The tea bag to communicate. I'm surprised they said in this round that he was suspicious, because he hasn't even gotten a kill. Like he got an assist, he hurt Yana. What else did he do this round? That made him so suspicious. With everything. At most he gets one kill here. It wasn't even that suspicious. Okay, well, that was fine. No. Maybe maybe it's after. That's a very common spot, at least for me to hide in because or wait up because people will just sprint right through lower garage or small garage. Without a care in the world. That barricade is up, by the way. That's why he's not reacting to the people. Kind of flickering in and out. Bro, oh, his aim is... Not good. Not good. I understand, you know, MP5K with a 2.5 and no vertical grip. Can be a little hard to control, but... I think he has missed more shots than he has hit. That's better. Got scared because he heard a shot and reacted, but didn't hit anything. What are the chances of getting unbanned if you've been falsely banned for cheating, but you weren't? Um, I feel like the odds of you being falsely banned for cheating when you're not cheating are so incredibly low that if, let's just say, in a free coincident or incident, if you were banned for cheating, even though you weren't, they probably won't unban you because the chances of it being a false positive are so low. Because generally, the way they ban most cheaters is either direct evidence of you just tracking people through walls, or nowadays what they do is they literally just find the cheats on your computer and then ban you for it. So... I feel like false ban is pretty unlikely, but 
people have also claimed that they've been getting falsely mousetrapped this season, so... Who knows? I'm still waiting because people are saying that mousetrap is very inaccurate this season. They're like, yeah, I've, I've never used mouse and keyboard in my life and now I'm getting mousetrapped. Bro, he is whiffing everything. Um, they're all saying that they've now been mousetrapped. Once a content creator or someone who actually has like a lot of proof of them playing with a controller gets mousetrapped, then I'll believe it. Until then, I do not. Uh, thank you for the two month savage chewy. Oh, he dies. Bro, I don't think he's cheating. We're, we're, we'll have to finish it. We're only two rounds away, but I don't think he's cheating. He played exactly the same way in round five and six that he played in round one and two. So unless he like goes crazy in overtime, I don't I don't see how he could even be cheating. Like he hasn't lined anyone up, he hasn't tracked people, he hasn't even like gone to where people are because of walls, or like if he had walls. I don't know how he could be cheating. He's done this like every single round. He will go somewhere on defense and then just sit and wait until someone pushes up. And then that one case there, he actually almost profited because someone repelled. But then didn't go in. He's, he is over flicking so much. I honestly don't know how they were accused of cheating. They are really bad so far. No more reaction waiting. He's getting pinged nonstop. I don't think there's any way he wins these fights, given his aim and that he is being pinched from like three directions. Oh, they're planting, by the way. Orange team is planting, while two attackers are on top floor hunting down Wilmai. What the fuck is going on? He won that? He lost that, though. Um... Who ends up winning this round? Oh, the defenders win. That's crazy. Trying to get a plant down while two attackers on top floor. Pretty ballsy. I mean, like, we're already here. We might as well watch the last round. But I am 99% sure he is not cheating. He even sw swapped off Deimos, which if he was cheating, this would be the perfect way to hide it. I think he's trying to go push the person. Yeah. Oh. The warden. They started in a 4v5, by the way. People report anyone who kills them sometimes. It happens, but like... They said that he toggled, and I just... I have not been able to see any evidence of him even being like slightly better than before. Like before he was four and four, now he's seven and five, and it, his aim and movement is still just as like bad as it was before. Ah, that's probably why. He killed the submitter by spraying through a wall after he got shot at. That's probably why they got reported. I don't think they're cheating. Just to be safe, we'll look up their stats, but I, I really don't think they're cheating. Level 174. Probably Plat or Emerald hidden MMR with a 1.03 KD. They're fine. I do not think they're cheating. That's an innocent. Now let's go watch the last match which I think should be a lot more obvious.
in this match we have uh, val value underscore hyphen who's accusing Bl Blituck. I wrote down the specific rounds that they accused him in, so we're going to watch the first one just to see how they play, and then we'll skip to the rounds. Because it's only a six round match and they specifically accuse him in three, five, and six. He's droning, guys. He can't possibly be cheating. Why did it like. I'm so confused. It went like static y for a millisecond there, but. They don't even have mute. They only have two brown. There's no way to burrow through an ice canister on the top floor. Right. That was a terrible air jam. Okay, he's getting pings. I think they pinged, yeah, the bookshelf person. Alright, normal. Pulling out the pistol in a 3v1, where Wumai could easily kill you. Bold play. Oh wait, we're going to round 3. Uh, I didn't really notice anything in that round. I thought he was fine. That kill on Valkyrie was like, it was a good kill and he, like, in a normal situation, I think you check kitchen hallway anyway, so I don't think that's out of the ordinary. He actually didn't even get a kill in round two, so good thing we skipped it. But yeah, he's specifically accused in rounds three, five, and six. Let's see if he does anything here. It also feels so weird to, like, now watch rounds, in, or like specific rounds in a replay, because... For a long time, it was either you were cheating or you weren't, but now with how cheats work, to describe it a little bit for the people who might not know, you can literally like toggle on and off however many cheats whenever you want with just like a click of a button. Before, you used to have to like turn off your game, turn it back on, but cheats have evolved now, so we actually can watch just like independent rounds because... It really doesn't matter whether they're toggling on or off. They can do it whenever they want. Before we had to watch the entirety of the match all the time. Also, the timer's bugged out again. He's holding his flank. With, again, this is one of the rounds he was accused in. He's holding the flank and no one's even coming that way, so... Not suspicious. They let a castle with a shotgun get a kill? Literally the worst shotgun in all of Siege. The M1014. Well, he looked away <coughs> as the person crossed the hole, so he could have easily got a kill there if he just held it. Uh, someone on drone? They must have been, right? Because that would now be the second time he's just, like, swung and killed the Valkyrie. Okay, looks like... Twitch is on this drone. Oh, he pinged it. I mean, he was holding, like, the stairs and stuff, but... How did... What? It wasn't even Twitch on the drone. He just knew, I guess. I mean, maybe... I, I don't watch the prep face. So like, maybe they saw that there was a Valkyrie. Like, he's on top of the table. He's afraid of a C4 from below. Uh, and then 5 and 6 were the other rounds that... The submitter accused him. Maybe he just knew there was a Valkyrie still left. Because, like, if you're playing and there's a Valkyrie or Solus, 
or Mozzie, you just assume they're downstairs below sight. Or Pulse. Is there anyone I forgot? I think if he were cheating, he would probably get off the scanner and be ready for that Thermite who was literally just an inch away from his face. I think that right there is enough to be like he's not cheating. Because, like, why would you stand on your scanner while just staring at a barricade that someone's on the other side of? Yeah, I don't think he's cheating. Last round. Yo, he's using my spot! Oh, never mind. Kind of laying outside of it. What is he doing? He's shooting like one bullet reloading, one bullet reloading. I always get like nervous when I see random I don't know, describe it, idiosyncrasies like that. Because in the past people would bind their like toggle cheats or whatever to a specific combination of buttons or whatever. So you'd see someone like prone stand while moving forward and that was them toggling cheats or something so but those are from the olden days so i see shit like that and i'm like this guy keeps doing the same thing over and over again he's toggling but that's not how cheats work anymore they they don't really know how to trick the wall because they are very lost Trap? No, it was a sledge, I guess. Also, super rare sight on the enemy team. A sledge with EMPs. Actually, I guess it's not a rare sight, because nowadays uh, people don't run frags. Remember when frags used to be good chat? I remember. Now they're terrible. He was struggling there to, to get the shots he needed. And then he died. Yeah, I'm going to say he's not cheating, chat. I don't really have any more info to go off of for that one. Let me see what the file said. Maybe maybe I missed something. He said wall hacking on rounds 3, 5, and 6. He was, he was not walling, chat. But those are the matches for Hacker Replay today. Chat, we are done. Again, I have played 19 matches and I've only played against one cheater, so I'm surprised that we had so many submissions and so many reports for cheaters already. Cheaters do exist. They're still in the game. Ubisoft hasn't gotten rid of them, unfortunately.